Hello everyone, in this video I will try to solve from 2019 AU This is examination for Japanese University admission yeah. And in this video I will try to solve uh, number 1 or part 1 in course 1 basic Let's continue This is mathematics course 1 or basic course Actually for part 1 uh, they have same problem uh, for both course 1 and course 2 okay let's we start this is part 1 uh, and question 1 we can see here they show the quadratic function here yeah okay consider the quadratic function like this a, a x squared plus b x plus c here Whole square is shown the figure here yeah okay we need to find look at the instruction here from a to k you need to choose correct answer from this option yeah so for here a b c d e f g it's i all of these options all of this letter you should choose from here okay so i will remove here maybe copy and put it here so we easily to find the option okay here we know this is uh for this quadratic function if the quadratic function is look like this it means a should be less than zero yeah because if a greater than zero the quadratic function should be like this okay so for the first part it should be grid less than zero yeah it should be less than zero so we choose for a is this one nine yeah it should be nine you can see from here Actually, the, the easiest part is C. C, you can see from here. Yeah. Because uh, when the quadratic function meet the y axis, the x should be equal to 0, right? So, y equal ax squared plus bx plus c. If we substitute x equal 0, it will be this is 0, 0 plus c. So, y equal c. So, this is c. 0 point c yeah so the c you can see from this graph the value of c is greater than zero because uh, this is above the y axis the x axis sorry i mean yeah so c should be greater than zero if greater you can choose from the option here seven yeah so i will answer here seven how about b actually you can choose b from uh there it's vertex yeah this is the vertex actually this is the x vertex it should be minus b over 2a yeah you can see from here the vertex is lie on the right of y axis it means the value of x should be positive okay because on the left of x, uh, y axis yeah from here you can see that a is already negative right a is already negative so two times negative right okay and we can cancel the negative sign so uh, for b should be greater than zero yeah okay so we choose b greater than zero so we choose this is seven from here yeah greater you can choose from here okay we already solved the the first three and let's continue to d yeah okay many clue in this graph yeah one of the clue is to solve this one you can see here you can see this graph is like 1.0 this point 1.0 so if you substitute 1.0 into y equal ax squared plus bx plus c we put like here this 
replace x with 1 so you got this yeah okay this result you can put it here a plus b plus c equal to 0 equal means this one eh? 8 okay so it should be equal so this is you find 8 okay how about the this part how about this part we can see another clue this one yeah actually this is neg uh, negative 1 equal to 0 but this point should be less than negative 1 yeah or you can uh, you can say like this maybe it is easier if we can see like this here when x equal negative 1 the value of y should be less than 0 right because this point is lie under the x-axis okay let's continue y equal ax squared plus bx plus c if i put x equal negative 1 y can be should be less than 0 or negative replace all the x with negative 1 yeah you can replace by negative 1 so you have a times minus 1 square will be 1 plus b times negative 1 yeah so it could be it should be minus b plus c less than 0 okay after you substitute with x equal negative 1 you get this result and you can check here so a minus b plus c must be less than zero okay less than zero you can choose from this number nine okay this is number nine okay how about the fourth how about this one okay i think uh if you look at the uh from this number and if if i want to get uh, this kind of form can you guess what sh what kind uh, what is the value of x to fill to substitute to this equation to get this kind of equation yes i think you're right we need to put x equal to yeah because if you put x equal to into this equation you can get here you can get 4a plus 2b plus 2c right this is for y and from this graph you can see 2 is located here yeah this is 2 and it means the value of y should be here so this point y still less than 0 okay so from here you can say that for a plus 2b plus c because this is y should be less than zero so this is should be less than zero and so this is will give you the same result like the previous yeah okay let's go to the fifth part this one b squared minus 4ac now uh, if you realize this is actually the discriminant right discriminant means uh if the discriminant is greater than zero the quadratic function has two roots yeah what is the roots here this is the first roots the intersection with the x-axis and this is the second roots so they have two roots different roots yeah x this one and this one so if they have two different roots the discriminant or b squared minus 4ac should be greater than zero yeah so we choose here seven yeah okay we do all the first five parts yeah let's go to the next part next part okay here given the condition that a b c satisfy one and two here yeah? one and two here okay in one okay consider the case where the value of a squared minus 8b uh, minus 8c is minimized okay 
so they want let's say if we write p equal a squared minus 8b minus 8c and they ask we to use this one what can you do yeah. you have a plus b plus c equal to zero right or you can see that b plus c equal to negative a right if i continue this p b plus c you can substitute this part into here yeah so you got p equal a squared minus 8 times negative a so p will be a squared plus 8a yeah they said we want to minimize it means the first derivative equal to zero okay so first derivative to a plus 8 equal to zero to a equal to negative 8 so a equal to negative 4 okay you can choose here where is this one yeah negative 4 so you put here 6 right this number okay you put it here 6 okay okay let's continue when we express this one in term of b oh we want to change all in here become all b yeah okay so y equal a x squared plus b x plus c okay and you have a plus b plus c equal to zero because we already have a equal negative 4 we substitute here negative 4 plus b plus c equal to 0 so c become minus b plus 4 okay we have here we also have here and we put all together here okay so we got y equal negative 4 x squared plus bx minus b plus 4 okay and put it here okay so h is negative 4 this is bx and this is minus b and this is plus 4 okay so the value of e should be plus 4 here yeah okay so this is 4 yeah and let's do the last part of this uh, equation we see the range the value of b yeah before we have this one b should be greater than zero from here yeah? so we can write here b is greater than zero so the value of j is zero here here yeah okay so we got here this is become zero or here zero okay and we need to find the last part here okay you can see that uh, the roots here the roots here is one positive and the other one is negative right okay and I think we can try maybe like what if we look at uh, find qua using quadratic formula eh? using quadratic formula we try to find the roots uh, using this formula this one eh? so minus b from here the same value plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 a is this one minus 4 and c become this one yeah substitute all yeah negative 4 and c become like this over 2a from here we got negative b b squared this is become 16 16 times here so mean negative 16b 
and plus 64 eh? over negative 8 okay from here we got negative B oh very good oh this is you can do like completing the square eh? this one over negative 8 yeah so in here we have minus b plus minus okay like this because this is square and uh, square root we can eliminate this one over minus 8 yeah so we got here it can be minus b plus b over this one and so this is x1 and this is x2 negative b negative min okay negative this one okay minus yeah and for the first part we can cancel this b so negative 8 divided by negative 8 should be 1 and from this negative b negative b negative 2b plus 8 per negative 8 yeah nah. so you can see this is confirm that x1 is 1 you can see here the first root is 1 right and the second root this one it should be here here the second root yeah the second uh, sorry here i mean yeah nah, you can see here the second root here is less lie on the left side of the y-axis so the x here should be less than to zero yeah okay so we can see this x2 must be greater than negative one but less than zero yeah so i put it x2 negative b plus eight over this one I put it here okay okay uh, I think I'll multiply all with negative 8 so I got this because I multiply with negative so I exchange this into here and this become move here yeah so this is become 0 times negative 8 is 0 uh, negative 1 times by negative 8 is 8 okay so I subtract all by 8 this one I divide here by negative 2 so this is B and again because this is negative so I need to move here to here 0 divided by negative 2 is 0 and negative 8 divided by negative 2 is 4 right here okay so this is 0 and this is 4 okay we got the result here let's check b between 0 and 4 yeah 4 is here okay so the k is 4 from here yeah okay thank you for watching this uh, part one in the next video i will try i will also solve still uh, the part one uh, number two See you.